Hey guys, I've uh, been getting a lot of questions uh, with my clients recently that are looking to buy. What's next once you're under contract? You've been bidding, been putting all these offers, you finally got a yes, what's next? So what I'm gonna do every week, I provide weekly updates to my clients. I provide them bullet points of all the steps necessary until closing. So I'm gonna share that. I'm gonna do a screenshot of one uh, at the end of the video so you can see what we're talking about but i'm just going to go over all the steps so that way as you as a, a buyer or even this applies when you refinance a house what steps are necessary and uh you know what to expect and how long they usually take so i want to go ahead and begin you know you should always get pre-approved or pre-qualified before you even go into contract but some people don't so i'm going to just start from the very beginning so the very first step you gotta do is do a loan application, provide information, uh, they'll pull your credit, and we'll see if you qualify. Uh, once everything looks good based off what you said, we're gonna need documentation to verify everything is correct, right? Your pay stubs, your, w, your last two, your W-2s, the bank statement showing the money you have for the down payment. Uh, once those two are checked off, you know, you're under contract, we're gonna go in and create this loan estimate. And all that is, is as it's said, a loan estimate, what we're expecting is your down payment, what is all the closing costs, you know, the title fees, the taxes, the insurance, things of that nature, what we expect it's going to be. And we're gonna create that for you, that way you have an idea of how much everything's gonna cost. And then you're gonna go ahead and sign that. Uh, at the end, once you get closer, you know, we'll get to that step. And once we collect all the quotes from the insurance provider you pick, the title feed, the exact title company we're gonna use, then we'll be able to give you the official number. But the loan estimate, again, is usually higher than what is anticipated. So once you sign that, we go straight into ordering the appraisal. That is the person who's gonna evaluate the property and say that it's a fair market value or you're getting a deal, whatever. Uh, that way you're protected as a buyer. Uh, once that is ordered, once you sign your LE, we're going to submit to the underwriter. Uh, once that is complete, you know, we're waiting for the appraisal. Uh, and then we're waiting usually about 48 hours, you know, possibly a week for the underwriter to give us what's called an initial approval. Uh, for the initial approval is basically said based off everything you gave us, it looks great. Uh, we may need these additional things before we can give you a final approval, which is usually the insurance, the appraisal report, or maybe some additional documents that weren't uh, up to date. Once you got everything complete, you get your final approval. So typically it takes about 30 days, uh, possibly 45 days, but usually 30 days or less is the average. Uh, you get your final approval, and then we go to the CD where we got all the numbers correct, and we'll send that over to you so you can sign, and then we can go and get a clear to close once you sign that, which means that you're all ready to go, there's nothing left to it. Uh, you'll send your money to the title company that is in charge for the closing, and then we can close. Again, thank you for your support. Have a good one.